This is what we're going to draw. This looks quite easy, but in fact, it's a little tricky. So I'm just going to outline a circle up at the top and then the cone part will be coming down like this. And this is one of the taller cones. And that will sort of come down like that. And then that is going to have a base, but you, you can't see the back, but I'm just going to draw in an ellipse there. And do draw very, very gently because we're going to erase all this later. And then we can work out where the back is going to go and the front will be about there. And then that's going to be coming out like that in uh, perspective mode. Uh, and we want to cut those little corners off there like that as well. So we can draw a line down there, down there, and that will go back up there, sort of parallel to that top part. Now up at the top here, we've got a, a little bit sticking like that, and then another bit, it sort of comes down like that. And this is where you kind of attach lights and sort of boards that go across to create barriers. And then that's going to come down there like that. And then this is going to curve around from behind it. Hey, if you've watched this far, you obviously like drawing. Make sure you're subscribed to Draw Stuff Real Easy. Ring the bell and make sure you get notifications of all my new videos every week. Thank you. So now we can draw in ink and I'm going to bring that up and around and down. And then I'm going to draw this almost circle in there because it's a hole in the top and then just a suggestion of a line around there. This is going to come around from slightly from behind. That's going to come around like that. And then we want a suggestion of a line there. And then that little bit coming down there and maybe a little flick at the end, tiny flick. And this is where you need a, a good steady hand to come all the way down to there. And all the way down to there. I'm going to bring that around into the base there. And then I'm going to draw another sort of a ring like that, which is the bit that sort of sits at the bottom. And then we can just slightly curve these corners because it's all kind of plastic molded. And if it's been on the motorway or the freeway thrown around, <laughs> All the edges are being knocked off it anyway, aren't they? So then we can kind of draw those lines in there and just sort of a suggestion rather than sharp edges. And then we want that kind of white reflective jacket that gets put on like that. And then I'm going to do very, very gentle lines like that because they have that, those kind of lines on that reflective jacket, which are almost transparent. When you are sure that the ink is dry, then you can erase those pencil lines as long as you didn't press too hard. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll grind the graphite into the paper and you won't be able to erase it. I have a little bit of shadow coming down there. And then I think we need some sort of shadow there too. We're going to bring that around there and and a little hint of shadow there. We can have a little bit of shadow on the the roll around there to make it look a bit more curved. Like that, that can just it's just a dot there really. And have a bit more shadow around there. And I'm gonna put some shadow on the ground like that too. And I think we can maybe have a bit of shadow coming down the side here. Don't draw it right against the line because we it's, it's this ambient lighting. We get a bit of light on the side. So the shadow falls just inside from the edge like that. And then perhaps this can do with a bit here as well. I think I'll take that up to the top. Now all you need to do is add a bit of colour and there you go, how to draw a traffic cone. Thanks for watching and make sure you're subscribed to Draw Stuff Real Easy and keep coming back for lots more drawings every week. In the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, practice, practice and I'll see you next time. You take care now, bye bye.